Hi, my name is Maggio. I'm an artist based in London and I have a big passion for street art. I just gave you a very, very quick example of what the tree style looks like. Um, today we are painting in my garden, but on a normal day during a class we would paint in places like Lick Street, the Banksy Tunnel, and other places in London where we can find uh, interesting uh, walls that we can uh, legally paint and learn more about the history of street art and learn more of the techniques that can make, uh, um, make it for you very easy to learn uh, the very basic of such a beautiful practice as uh, graffiti art. Uh, as you see, this is an eye and uh, it's just something that I enjoy painting so it was easy for me to do it for a quick example. So today we're gonna see how it is to paint with a particular style in uh, street art called the stencil, making stencils. Um, that's what I normally paint, um, teach in my painting classes because it's very easy to learn and then you can uh, have the chance to create your own logo, your own uh, maybe um, a, a, a word to represent you. It's going to be very easy for you to create something quick, effective and that looks really cool. So the most important things about stencil is first of all to create your design. It has to be simple. But today we're going to do the most simple one which is creating for example a logo or a tag, which is basically um, the form of a graffiti uh, signature. And you're going to learn about bridges. So I think I finished my uh, stencil. I'm just going to give a last uh, look and see if I want to change something. Maybe do a little bit of a extra detail. I think I'm happy with it. Now that my design is ready, I'm gonna take it out. This piece of paper. And I'm gonna go and prepare my canvas. So there are many techniques that I can use to prepare my canvas. And I'm gonna use the canvas because I want every student that come and learn graffiti with me to be able to take home their first stencil. So, Again, what's the best way to color? You don't want to color as if you were using uh, uh, a normal pencil. Why? Because you waste a lot of paint. It's not as effective and uh, you create too many layers of paint that eventually make the paint drip. So as I go towards the end of the canvas, now I'm gonna change color. I'm not going to go as close to the canvas, I'm going to start to go quite far away. As I go far away, you can see that the color become um, lighter and lighter. Now I have a little pool of paint. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do something that Pollock used to do. So I'm going to just splash some of the paint on the canvas so I give it a bit of a unique signature. And make it really, really cool and quite modern. So now what we're going to do, we're going to wait for the color to dry. So the important things for this part, this stage of uh, um, the creation of this artwork is that the piece of paper is really, really adherent to the um, to the canvas. So, which color am I gonna use? And now we're gonna see what we have ready for the reveal. So this is the finished piece and I really hope you enjoyed the experience. I really look forward to see what you guys come up with. You can book this experience uh, through Fromigo 
and once we're gonna be together you're gonna be able to paint on directly on a wall or on a canvas so that you can take it home uh, use it as a gift or keep it forever with you as your personal artwork. I really enjoyed uh, working with you today and I hope to see you very soon. Bye!